Hey everybody, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day out there, staying safe. I hope God's dwelling in your life, helping you out. Um, in today's video, we're going to be talking about something very important that God put on my mind. And I think it's important as we as Christians and non-believers to understand what God's trying to tell us here in this video. So make sure you stick around. We're going to be in the book of Job. Now everybody can go to the first chapter because that's where it's going to start. I'm going to be sharing, like, going through verses and verses and verses on what God is trying to tell us here and what we need to expect as Christians, okay? So if everyone can turn to Job chapter 1, we are going to be in verse, yeah, verse 12, and we're just going to keep reading, and I'm going to explain it, all right? Verse 12, and the Lord said unto Satan, behold, all that he hath is in thy power, only upon him put not forth thine hand. No, so Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. And there was a day when his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. So before we get into more, it says right here, it says, And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he hath is in thy power, only upon himself put not forth thine hand. So God is telling Satan to not touch or hurt or just do anything that hurts Job. But he's also telling Satan to destroy and just ruin his home. Now just, you guys might think that's wrong, but you'll understand by the end of the video what God's trying to tell all of us here it says that um first verse 13 and there was a day when his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house and there came a messenger until job and said the oxen were plowing and feeding beside them so there was a messenger and the savings fell upon them and took them away so the savings took that away from Job. They have slain the servants. Wow, they slain his servants. They slain Job's. With the edge of the sword, and I only am ex escaped alone to tell you. So this this messenger ex escaped alone. Verse 16, while he was yet speaking, there came another messenger. The fire of God is fallen from heaven and hath burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them and I only am escaped alone to tell you. So another messenger survived and God, there was stuff falling from heaven that burned up the sheep. So the sheep have been killed, Job's sheep. While he was yet speaking, there came another messenger. The Chaldeans made out their three bands and fell upon the camels and have carried them away, yea, and slain the servants with the edge of the sword, and I only am escaped alone to tell you. Wow. So basically Job's losing everything. This is sad. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, Thy sons and thy daughters were eating and drinking wine in the eldest brother's house. So we're just going down verses. We're in verse 18. We're going into verse 19 now. Wow, so, and then it says right here, this is the most important verses here, and just stay around and listen to what God's trying to tell us here as Christians. It says, and behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness, and the four corners of the house, and it fell upon the young men, and they are dead. Wow, a wind killed them and I only am escaped alone to tell you then Job arose and so basically Job lost all his children to a wind so he's basically losing everything he's his life is going downhill he's just lost everything then Job arose and rent his mantle and shaved his head and fell down fell down upon the ground and worshiped so listen to this 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 is amazing Job lost everything and got on his knees and started worshiping the Lord. 
he had so much trust and love in the uh, and love in the Lord that he lost everything that he had and got on his knees and worshiped the Lord. So God is here testing Job. God knew that Job will, will succeed. He knew that Job will not complain about it and not only not complain about it to go away from God but instead he got on his knees and started worshiping the Lord for who he is we as Christians need to do that too sometimes God will test us but sometimes we as Christians we just sit there and complain about it and just get away from God and blame God it's not God's fault he's testing you as a Christian we're supposed to learn more not only are we supposed to learn more we're going to expect that Satan will attack at points. That's why we need to trust in God. This is a serious lesson that God's trying to teach us by using Job. Now listen to this. After he fell down and worshipped, verse 21 right here, and said, Naked came out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And all this Job sinned not, nor charged God foolishly. So basically, he lost everything. And Job sinned not. He did not complain, nor charge God foolishly. Exactly what I just said. He lost everything, but he didn't sin against God. And he didn't blame God. But listen to this before. He said he blessed him. Job is going to get such a big reward for what he did. We as Christians need to understand that we need to have our eyes open all the time for stuff that, for stuff like that. Maybe during hard times, maybe if you lose a family member or you're just, just going through a hard time in life that it's just, you can't handle it. Think in your mind and remember, God's testing me. God's testing me and he's he's trying to see if I truly love him. He's trying to see if I have trust in God. So I'm here today to say that we need to trust in God more and love him. And you may be rewarded in heaven for it. Now I'm going to go back. Now God knew that Job will succeed and trust him. Now if I go back all the way to the first So it, first verses and stuff and it says and the Lord said unto Satan has thou considered my servant Job so he told Satan to consider his Job consider Job that there is no man no man like him on earth he's an upright man one though he feareth God and as cheweth evil so Job is a very good servant and a very good follower of God he fears God he trusts in God God knew that even if he you even if he used Satan to do something see what Satan does is if eh, he'll do anything to destroy somebody's life but God knew that Job had the courage the tr the trust and the power to defeat Satan and to defeat what I mean by defeating Satan he didn't let Satan take over his life when he lost everything and said he got on his knees and looked up to God and said thank you God for who you are for testing me thank you God for testing me we need to understand that we need to have our eyes open all the time because that might happen to us you never know so make sure you have trust and faith in the Lord he will test you at some times. So I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I hope everyone stays safe. Just remember that God will test you. God loves you. And he wants you to grow with him. And that's how he used Job. And you will be rewarded in heaven for it. If you're here today and if you're not a Christian. And you haven't been following Christ. It's time to get right with God. To understand God. To love him for who he is he will provide and help you but also he will test you at times 
So always have your eyes open. Make sure you read the word, spread the word, and do what God asks you to do. And always, always love God for who he is. Everyone have a good week. Today is Monday. May God dwell in your life and test you. Be ready for that. Peace out. Stay safe. And may you have a wonderful week. And may God test you. Have trust and faith in him. Goodbye.